The Amityville Murders website was well received by the public upon its launch in 1999. It was one of the very few websites at the time that presented news articles and detailed information on the case. Eventually, I was contacted by filmmakers interested in my research into the DeFeo story. I signed on as lead researcher and co-producer to a documentary eventually produced by the History Channel. My involvement gave me access to some of the original people involved with the case, including William Weber, the Lutzes, and Roxanne Kaplan, whose late husband was dedicated to exposing the hoax. In fact, my personal views on the case dramatically changed after my involvement in the production. I can still recall George Lutz telling me he had more interest in movie sequels than setting the record straight. This floored me. Given up until that point, I had been exploring with Lutz the possibility of writing a new book to do just that, set the record straight. I knew from my extensive research that the public only had a keyhole view of the case, the DeFeo murders, their story, and the supernatural claims. Ironically, it was at that time that a woman calling herself Geraldine DeFeo reached out to me. Here was a woman that claimed to be married to Butch DeFeo in 1974 and had intimate knowledge of the events leading to the Amityville Horror. Well, let me tell you that this was a story that took a lot of convincing for me to believe. Geraldine impressed me to say the least. She showed me photos, identification, paperwork, powers of attorney, and private letters that all helped corroborate her story. But it was still hard to believe that Butch had a wife before the murders. I would later learn that very powerful figures in organized crime helped protect her. Her identity was hidden as she could not wrongly be accused as being Butch's accomplice. After all, Geraldine was told that the police believed someone had to keep the children quiet and in bed while Big Ronnie and Louise were killed. Geraldine's identity and connection to the story opened doors for me that would have likely remained shut if I had gone the road alone. People who were close to the DeFeos knew Geraldine, often recounting to me that Butch and her were indeed together well before the murders. It was an incredible story, and I knew that it deserved to be written and shared with the public. Jerry agreed to help me with my book with strict conditions. She wanted no money, no fame, and made me promise that I would only tell the truth. In the early days of our friendship, she would tell me she just wanted to know what happened to the family that she had grown to love as her own. Jerry would say to me, if Butch did it all by himself, then tell it like it is. She was tired of all the lies surrounding the Amityville case. She was determined to see the truth exposed. She wanted peace for her and Butch's daughter. She wanted the real DeFeo story to be told, and she wanted to finally learn the complete truth of what happened the night the DeFeos died.